but the Lord directs his steps and makes them sure. So we can just think we're going to do this, we're going to do that, we've got all these plans, you know. I have people say, when I get to this, I'm, gonna, I'm going to uh, retire to go to Florida. And you know what I say? Did God tell you to go to Florida? Of course, they probably don't like me. But, um, you know, if I really know them well, I'll say, you know, I'll challenge them a little bit. Is this what the word of the Lord is for you? You know, so we have to know it's God. You know, we have to know he's leading us because we can come up with all kinds of stuff, but it may not be God. We can change jobs, do all kinds of, and God will let us do what we want to do. Do you know that? God will not force you to do his will. He will not. He will, he will let you do whatever. If you determine you want to do something, you can still go to church, praise God, even pay your tithes, but you'll be doing your thing, not his thing. And that's what we've got. To, but you will miss so much if you don't get in to what God has for you. And he has something for every one of us. He really does. So what are some of the requisites for divine guidance? What do we have to do? What do we have to do? We have to be meek, the Bible says. The meek will guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his ways. Humble. What is humbleness? What does it mean to be humble? Anybody, real quick? What does it mean to be humble? Well, I've always thought not to resist God. Like you're talking about his will. Okay. If we be humble, we'll do his will. We won't resist him. We won't resist God. Good. That's good, Nancy. We won't resist God. The meek. When we are humble, we're dependent on God. It's about my desperate need for you, Lord. I don't know what to do, but my eyes are on you because you do know what to do. See, Moses was a meek man. He was the meekest man on the earth, and God let him. He let him. See, Psalm 25, 9. Acknowledgement of God. In all our ways, acknowledge God, and he will direct your path. That's, again, an acknowledgement of dependency on God. I need you, God, because I don't know what to do. I don't know the best thing to do. And then abandonment, a surrendered will to God. Jesus came surrendered to the Father. He came only to do the will of the Father. He came only to go to the cross. He did not come for any other reason. It was nothing about him, and I want you to hear that. And knowing God and following his will for your life is just not about you. And I'm going to show you that more blatantly. Jesus did not regard his own will. He said, for I've come down from heaven not to do my own will, but to do the will of him who sent me. So you see, a surrendered will embraces the Father's will as sustenance. He said, my meat is to do the will of him who sent me. Now, what is meat? It's the main sustenance of life. You know, I don't know if you've ever fasted meat. I have, but after about a week or two, you really miss meat. <laughs> you know, you don't care about sweets. You just want some meat because that's the sustenance of life, see? So that meat, Jesus said, that is my will, the meat. It is my meat to do the will of the Father. He said, I'm able to do nothing for myself as I'm taught by God and as I get his orders. Here's the Son of God saying, I can't do anything on myself. I'm, I decide as I'm bidden to decide, and the voice comes to me, so I give a decision. What voice? The voice of God coming to the Son of God. The Son, the man, he was man and God. Yeah. And even as I hear, I judge, and my judgment is right, because I do not seek or consult my own will. Yes. He does not seek his own will. I have no desire to do what is pleasing to myself. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, that's putting the flesh down. That's a death, death to me. Recently, I, something happened, and I, I was sharing with a friend. I said, it's just more death than me. It's more death than me. I know it. God has put his finger and said, okay, Norma, it's not about you. I don't care how painful this is, how uncomfortable it is, and how hard it is. I didn't say stop. <laughs> I don't know. I have no desire to do as pleasing to myself. He said, my own aim, my own purpose, but only the will and pleasure of the Father. Oh, God, get us there. Get us there, Lord. Well, we just want to do the will and the pleasure of the Father. Because I believe God wants us all to get there. Where it's about his purpose and his will. So before I get into the real meat of what I want to say, I want you to share with me, what are some ways out of the word? Because God tells us in the word so many things we're to do in this word that are his will. And we're, we're, you know, sometimes we're crying out to God, oh, show me what to do today. This word will tell you what to do today. So what are the, some of the things it says to do? Come on, somebody. You guys know this.